So in this uh, example we have two pulleys, one of diameter 150 millimeters and the other 200 millimeters. They're on parallel shafts with centers 400 millimeters apart. What is the angle of contact between a flat belt and each pulley? What power can be transmitted when the larger pulley rotates at 300 rpm if the maximum tension in the belt is 1 kN and the coefficient of friction between the belt and the pulley is 0.25? Okay. So, uh, we have a radius here of 75 and a radius here uh, of 100. The 75, I just draw a line here parallel to the to the belt. And that cuts there. So if it's parallel, then that distance there is 75, meaning this distance here is 25. The angle between the radius and a tangent is a right angle and I have an hypotenuse value here. So I can say that sine phi, so this angle here, is 25 over 400. So then if I get the inverse sine of that, I get phi is equal to 3.58 degrees. I can extend up my straight lines. So this angle here is 3.58. This angle here is 3.58. This angle here is 3.58, and this angle down here is 3.58. So, theta 1, it's 180 degrees plus 2 times 3.58, and that works out to be 187.16 degrees, or 3.26 radians. And theta 2 is 180 minus uh, 2 times 3.58, and that works out to be 172 degrees, or 3.06 radians. The uh, belt equation is T1 over T2 is equal to E times mu theta. We were told this is 1 kilonewton. We were told this is 0.25. And this we will always use the smaller angle. So rearranging this equation, I get an expression for T2. And I plug in the values. So T1 is 1,000 newtons. Mu is 0.25. And the smaller angle is 3.016. So that works out to be 470.5. Our power equation is T1 minus T2 times omega r. So um, the velocity of the belt, it doesn't matter which, which side you take it, 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 either here or here, but we were given omega for the, for the larger putty, so we have to use the radius of the larger putty. So omega it was 300 rpm. So converting that to radians per second, so divide by 60, multiply by 2 pi, and the radius here was 100 millimeters, which we saw. T1 was 1000, T2 is 470.5, and when I multiply that all out, I get 1663.5 watts.